Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating a 3D background animation with cool looking shadows here in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. And without further ado, let's dive in and start creating this cool animation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl or Command plus N or hit on this uh, little icon to create a new composition, this is gonna be final like usual. For the width and height, let's go 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration, I will leave it to around 20 seconds, hit OK. And now let's create background, go right click to create a new solid layer, I will rename this one to background or BG according your needs, hit OK and then let's go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and preset just go window and you will find the facts and preset here. Now type fill effect and drag and drop or double click to apply on this background solid layer. Now let's change the color for this particular tutorial I will do F f 4 e and of course you can play around with your colors for me this pink color is pretty much suitable for this particular tutorial hit ok and now let's add another effect go here in the facts and preset again find motion tile drag and drop onto the background and for the output width and height let's type here 500 by 500 also check this option mirror edges and we're adding this effect because later on we will expand our scene in 3d space okay i will close this effects control for now and then let's duplicate this background layer and let's rename this one to grid and go here in the facts and preset find grid effect drag and drop onto the grid solid layer and here basically you can play around with the options i will do maybe for this border three or two and later on you can play around with this option okay for the next step let's create our shape i will create a new composition here again hit ctrl plus n or this little icon for the width and height i will do 200 by 200 and for the composition name i will do shapes for the frame rate 30 frames per second and for the duration also 20 seconds. Hit OK and now it's time to create our shapes here in the shape composition. Go right click to create a new solid layer again. This is gonna be circle also 200 by 200. Hit OK and then let's turn on titles and action save. OK select this circle solid layer and then go here on this little icon to find ellipse tool hold left mouse click or hit q for a few times shortcut find here ellipse tool and then let's draw a perfect circle from the center hold ctrl shift and alt on your keyboard and just from the center of the scene let's draw a perfect shape like so make sure that the boundaries of the circle are inside the composition like so this is looking cool okay and now let's create our rectangle here in this composition find here also rectangle tool make sure to unselect this circle solid layer and for the stroke let's type here uh, 50 for the stroke width make sure that your color for the fill is set to none and repeat the process important step is to not select anything here in the shape composition and from the center let's repeat the control shift and alt again and draw a shape like this also while you're holding control shift and alt you can hold space on your keyboard to move down or up our new shape okay i will do something like this okay also hit s for scaling and let's type here 73 you can readjust the shape with the arrows also on your keyboard and this is looking cool okay now let's find here on the circle solid layer alpha inverted and then go here in the facts and preset again find fill drag and drop onto the circle and change color to pure white color now it's time also to animate this shape layer 01 or we can rename this one to rectangle okay and then hit r for rotation set up the first keyframe here at zero frames go somewhere around two seconds okay and then hit here one for this uh, rotation now let's also create expression for this rectangle hold alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click on this uh, stopwatch and type here loop out open and close brackets quotation marks and type here ping pong 
okay and now when we hit zero in this scene we have this cool looking repeating shape okay now let's select both of the keyframes okay and then f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them and then go here in the final composition i will close this shapes comp for now and just drag and drop the shapes here in the finals when we hit zero this is already looking cool our next effect that we're going to use here is motion tile again find motion tile drag and drop onto the shapes composition and for the output width let's type here 1650 copy this number and paste it here on the output width also check this option mirror edges and now when we hit zero in the finals our scene is looking really cool and really creative okay for the final step let's create fake 3d shadows here in the scene go here in the facts and preset again find drop shadow drag and drop onto the shapes composition okay and here instead of pi for the distance type 33 and here in the finals as you can see we already have this cool looking fake 3d shadows okay now let's close this effects control for now go right click find here new null object okay and select background grid and shapes uh, composition and parent it with the null object. If you can't find parent and link option, just go right click columns and find parent and link option here. Also turn on 3D for the every layer, go here also toggle switches and modes and turn on option 3D for every layer, okay? Now let's select this null object, go at zero frames, hit S for scaling, I will do, I don't know, 90 for the first keyframe, set up the first keyframe here on this little stopwatch, then go somewhere around 10 seconds and type here, I don't know, 110 or 115 according your needs. Also let's animate rotation, hit R for rotation and basically here you can play around with the numbers for the X rotation, I will do maybe Play around to around 20 for the Y rotation set up the first keyframe go somewhere like here and for the Z rotation go something like this and then go to around 10 seconds and do the opposite numbers minus I don't know 20 and for the Y rotation minus 14 maybe and for the Z rotation something like this. Now hit zero on your keyboard and as you can see we have cool looking pattern background here in the finals and this is looking pretty cool all right guys so that was everything for today's tutorial you can play around here with the everything with the options scale and rotation and if you want to see different shapes just go here inside this shape composition and draw different shapes here okay i want to thank you for watching this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also leave me a like on this tutorial if you found this uh, video helpful take a look on my channel on my profile for more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye